The Great Lakes are no stranger to the lake effect machine and this weekend is going to be a good one. But why is it so special? Well, we have three ingredients we have to look at and how well they are structured. So let's look at them each individually, starting with that temperature. We have to look at the temperature of the water at about two kilometers above the surface. If there's more than a 13 degree difference, then we're all systems go for that convection. Now, the wind, that's a tougher ingredient to get. We have to look at different levels. So first, our surface wind is going to be coming from the southwest. Now the middle of the squall, about two kilometers up, it's much the same direction, so that's good. Then the top of the squall gets cut off about three kilometers. It's a little different, but they're close enough together that these squalls will be well structured. So that's another positive. Our third ingredient, probably the toughest to get, is having a prolonged straight wind direction over the lakes. Now our lake fetch, it's pretty impressive with the southwest flow through Saginaw to Georgian Bay, 350 kilometers, the whole stretch of Lake Erie and then Lake Ontario, you get a head start because of Lake Erie. So that is going to be almost a perfect case scenario for impacts of these squalls across southern Ontario.